Chaos Nation. Big Rob here, Chaos Nutrition. Coming to you from the Valley of the Sun. Where we're in the uh, mid 90s today. Pretty, uh, pretty awesome day. And uh, over the weekend, we've had a ton of rain, which is kind of odd, but uh, nonetheless, I guess Vegas has been experiencing that as well. And uh, our warehouse up there took a little bit of a pounding. But nonetheless, everything is okay. Uh, a lot of flash floods going on. Uh, the timing is a little odd. A lot of people think that uh, seeding the clouds might be the issue. Um, who knows? We uh, we don't really know what's going on anymore in this world. We're just kind of living it. Um, the topic of discussion for this video is a little off the charts for me. Um, not something I kind of delve into. Not something I really like to talk about too much. Um, it, it's... it's uh, it's odd, it, it, and that's the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm doing this video, is no one's really talking about it. And I find it kind of like the signs of the times where, you know, it's right in front of you and people aren't saying a word. I mean, there are some that are catching on to it. I saw in the TikTok world, but not really catching on on the YouTube world and not really catching on on the news. It's more of just like, uh, like we popped the pimple, we gotta keep it moving and no one's really paying attention. So. I wanted to shed some light on it. I'm going to kind of keep the video short. And I really want to know your opinion because this to me is really bizarre. Now, I kind of knew who Ann Hesch was previous to. Uh, she was in a relationship, I guess, married to Ellen DeGeneres, um, who's a, a bizarre person herself. Um, she did um, an interview, Ann Hesch did, um, literally like a week or so ago, uh, where she was talking about how... Um, you know, she broke the matrix and she's been silenced once and she won't be silenced again. Uh, that, you know, you know, that there's people that don't want her to talk. And so then I started looking into it a little bit more and realizing, wow, there are some weird things that happened on the day of her supposed death. But leading up to it, she had been filming a movie uh, called The Girl in Room 13, which deals with sex trafficking. And she was set to come out and put this movie out uh, which was going to be a Netflix exclusive. And, uh, uh, you know, apparently she was going to drop some names. And apparently she was going to do some damage to the the uh, the folks that reside in Hollywood and elsewhere. Um, and I just want to plant that seed really quick and have you think about that as I go on. Um, so here, here she is. She gets rid of Ellen DeGeneres. She gets kind of silenced. She comes back out. She nails this movie. It hasn't been put out yet it was set to come out in September um, and then one day out of the blue she decides she's gonna drive like a maniac apparently and uh, before doing so though there's a gentleman who I think needs some protection himself and I don't know his name but an African-American gentleman uh, was interviewed a lot of people on TikTok put it up there you can probably find it on one of my slides or somewhere um, and he talks about how Ann Hash came in she didn't seem impaired. She didn't seem that she had issues with judgment and she wanted a red wig. So, you know, that's what his uh, salon slash wig studio, uh, you know, I guess produces there in Hollywood. So, you know, he reached up on the shelf, grabbed the wig, handed it to Ann. Uh, he said, it's a little dirty. She said, no problem. I plan on washing it and uh, went about her business and took the, uh, bought the wig and went, went about her business. Now, um, after that, I guess she was seen on a ring camera um, in some you know, neighborhood where I would say it almost like maybe she was trying to get away from someone. I could be wrong. Um, again, just planting some seeds for deep thought. And so she's evading someone, she's avoiding someone, and she's driving um, erratically to get away, and she loses control, crashes in the house. Now, this is where it gets really bizarre. So if you're still following me, this is where you need to provoke some serious thought. You cannot deny this. So you have firefighters, uh, thanks to my daughter actually, G, that told me like, dad, look at, you know, the, the firefighters are fully covered. Um, well, and of course, cause they're, they're fighting a fire, I guess that her impact to the house had caused. Um, but surprisingly, there's no EMS there besides the firefighters. Um, they, they hastily put her on this gurney, wrap her, 
uh, what appears to be either, you know, some, some, uh, I guess hospital sheets or, or blankets, um, or it could even be a body bag. I don't know. I don't know the material. However, as they're kind of, you know, quickly moving towards the, the ambulance, uh, which is, you know, a few hundred, about a about hundred feet or so away, they're moving, right? And they get to the ambulance and they got to put Ann into the back of it. And just before they do, helicopter crew above catches the image of Ann coming out of this bag or blankets or whatever they put over her. But clearly from the vantage point of the helicopter above, uh, this looked as if the person was already deceased, right? So, you know, I I've worked a few crime scenes, especially in the Marine Corps. We had, you know, uh, folks that passed away and such. And uh, when I was a military cop and you, and you come upon and you cover bodies and such, um, I, I would almost assume, is, is there anyone out there that watches my videos that works for a funeral home or, or is a first responder that has ever seen this? And they, as she sits up, as Ann sits up and comes through this bag or the blankets, they shove her down. They, they literally shove her back down and they slam the gurney uh, in, into the, uh, into the uh, ambulance and then they, they, they pull off. Um, later we find out that apparently she was put into a coma and succumbed to the injuries uh, set forth from the accident due to her being impaired. Huh, guys, I, I don't know. Sounds a lot like Seth Rich to me. Sounds a little bizarre. I, I could be 100% wrong, but it, you know, if it smells bad and it looks bad, it's probably bad. Um, I, there probably are some people that didn't want to get outed. I don't know, but her death seems very strange. Her death seems very odd and um, no one's talking about it. Even Ellen that was kind of, I think it was either TMZ or another news outlet that, that caught up with her a couple days ago or, or whatever. And uh, they wanted her opinion on things and she was mum. She was now not interested. Uh, I hope she gets better, whatever the case might be. And, and that was it. It was really cut and dry. Not not really even like a concern. Um, I don't know. This, this Just follow me. The movie, the wig, uh, the fact that she had been silenced before apparently. Um, just some bizarre things that led up to, um, you know, her publicist saying she passed away. I mean, I, I don't know. And, and the thing is, no one's really asking any questions. I mean, more and more people are starting to come onto the video and they're like, whoa, that's pretty wild. Um, but I don't think it's a joke. Someone that's apparently been burned really bad, um, that, that's going to be put either in a coma or went into a coma. I just don't find would pop up like a jack-in-the-box out of either the body bag or the blankets or whatever they had over her um, and that's not cause for concern to uh, for the ambulance crew or anyone just to figure that out and then no one even talks about it as if it's like no that didn't happen what are you guys what are you guys talking about um, and then kind of just to finish up the story here is what if they can pull that off what else can they pull off I mean they are Hollywood right they produce movies um, they do things that, uh, you know, uh, are, are fiction, um, and they pull those things off to make it look like it's real. I mean, how you look at any of their horror movies and, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that are affected for life, uh, and scarred for life because of how real, uh, they, they make these movies, um, feel right. So, you know, if Hollywood is a stage and everything therefore is a stage, it wasn't staged. I don't know. These are just questions I'm asking. I could be wrong, um, but you know, it's to provoke thought and what you guys think, because to me, all these things aren't really adding up. She's dropping a movie next month. Uh, she says that she's been silenced before. It won't happen again. Um, this time around at 53 years old, they apparently did, they did silence her or she silenced herself. It's just really, everything around it is just odd. So like I said, normally I don't shoot these videos. Um, but this time around, it's like no one's paying attention. No one's even talking about how she popped up like a zombie. Um, <laughs> and, and it's just like business as usual. So I don't know, guys. Uh, provoke some thought. Let me know in the comments below. DM me, message me. Let me know what you think. Um, for me, it's, it's kind of like, you know, I can't really investigate any more than, than, than I've already done. 
Uh, but to me, it just seems really odd, bizarre. And like I said, if they can get away with this, what else can they get away with? You got the whole Trump stuff going down in Mar-a-Lago, uh, which seems bigger than Watergate. I could get into that, but that's a whole other topic of discussion. Um, and he's fighting espionage and all this, that, and the other. And it's, it's just, where have we come as a world um, where the, the Anne Hesh stuff is, is real and normal? Uh, no one talks about it. And then, you know, even what happens with Trump in our world, that, that's like, uh, it's just a blip. No one even cares. But it's even bigger than Watergate, which was taught to us even in high school 20 years ago. Um, 20 years ago plus. So, um, I don't know. The world we live in, really wild place, man. Provoke some thought. Let me know your thoughts on it. And uh, like I said, I, I normally don't shoot these videos, but um, man, signs of the times, right? I mean, things are just bizarre. Um, and, and when no one asks any questions and the news just jumps it over for the whole Trump story, um, I don't know. It, it just, it's mind boggling. So when it's mind boggling, uh, I, I like to provoke thought and here we are. So um, yeah, I'll leave it with that. Um, also real quick, um, shout out to uh, Kashmir Maharaj. Thank you on your tour uh, as you uh, circle the globe and enjoy your vacation and repping Chaos Nutrition. I truly appreciate you. Uh, to all of our athletes who day in and day out rep Chaos Nutrition, shout out to you. Um, and to our, our supporters, our fans, our the people that, you know, you know, uh, buy from Chaos and, and purchase product, and like, subscribe, and, and hit that share button. Uh, you guys are all important. I really appreciate you. So without you, it's impossible for us to continue. Uh, so if you would share this video, like this video, uh, head over, support our athletes, uh, hit up the website, chaosnutrition.com. And uh, I'm set to launch two new products at the end of the month that I'm pretty excited. So I'll keep those under wrap for the next video. Uh, but for this one, provoke some thought. Let me know your thoughts. And until next time, guys, I'm out.